stories breaking the stereotypes of Generation Y in the workforce. Who is Generation Y? Generation Y is the population that was formed between 1980 and 1999. Do you know some of the stereotypes about Generation Y in the workforce? And we're sending it out to Tasha at the Redeker Center with a fellow UNI student. Thanks, Justin and Maddie. I'm here with Melissa Tranel. She is a speech pathology major student at the University of Northern Iowa, and I'm here to ask her a few questions about her own generation. Melissa, what do you think the stereotypes of Generation Y are? Um, I'd say that the stereotypes of Generation Y would be that we are bad at communicating face-to-face -face because we have technology, and so our faces are always in our phones. And so like when you're at a restaurant, uh, usually like you're on your phones and you're not talking to the people around you and so I'd say that this is one of the biggest stereotypes of Generation Y. Uh, when you, as like an employer, if you see like resumes where the employees had a lot of different jobs, do you see it as like a disloyal thing or a need of improvement or is it like a growth opportunity in their workforce? I would see it as a growth opportunity in the workforce, um, especially because I know I have a lot on my uh, resume and it's all like, it's not like I just quit out of the blue. It's more like I just want to get my foot out the door and like start uh, doing tasks and like jobs that like will get me farther in life and will get me to like accomplishing my major and getting me a job later in life. Um. Is there like one big positive that you think can describe Generation Y? Um, I think Generation Y could be tech savvy, uh, just because I know like whenever my mom has a question about what to do on her phone, um, I would always know the answer. So if she'd call me, I could just like be like, "This is what you did wrong," or "This is how you delete the app," or whatever. Uh, All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Back to you. <laughs> Some of the major stereotypes in gen of Generation Y include that they're lazy, feel as if they're entitled, disloyal, and always needing a participation trophy. Those are just some of the stereotypes, but are they really true? Pew Research Center did a, st did a study taken in 2010 which shows millennials work, many others go to school, and some do both. Overall, about one in four 18 to 29 year olds are employed and enrolled in school. About one in 10 millennials study and work full time while an additional 14% study and hold the part-time jobs. <laughs> now we have a special interview with Matthew Lumetta. Take it away, Sammy and Emily. Uh, I'm Matthew Lumetta. I work at United Beverage in Waterloo, Iowa. What do you think the stereotypes of Generation Y are? I'd say uh, lazy. They want everything handed to them rather than putting in the work for it. Um, real sensitive to feelings. Um, I'd say a lot more, you know, emotional and let things offend them. How would you define lazy? Not being willing to put in the work that needs to be done uh, to get what you want out of life, more or less. Expecting things to be handed to you. Educators are celebrating the high school graduation rate, which now stands at 72%. This is the highest level of high school completion in more than two decades. Of those graduates, 68% are enrolled, are enrolled in college. Approximately 58% of those earning, entering a four-year institution will receive a bachelor's degree within six years. Rather than being motivated solely by money, the Generation Y is motivated by passion, especially in the work, workplace. They also work with the motto, work smarter, not harder utilizing their digital knowledge and to aid their progress. Technology has allowed Generation Y to multitask and find shortcuts to achieving tasks. Texting, instant messaging, social networking, and web surfing have all made Generation Y workers more competent, efficient, and productive. Instead of assuming Generation Y is lazy, the key for employers is to accept that there may be multiple ways for workers to accomplish their tasks. We have Bryce out in the field with uh, Todd Mensing. Send it out to him. Um, he is a professor for sociology, criminology, and anthropology. Hi, I'm Bryce Clark. Bryce. Hi. Um, so, we're just going to ask you a couple questions. What do you think the stereotypes of Generation Y are? Um, the vast majority of the public, I believe, thinks the, the Generation Y, the millennials, are <clears throat> um, 
lazy, self-entitled, uh, participation trophy candidates uh, that want their safe place and, and expect to be coddled. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, could you define lazy, and would you think people in Generation Y are lazy? Uh, lazy, I would say, is a lack of effort. Um, and is Generation Y lazy? No. Uh, are there lazy people in Generation Y? Obviously, there is in every generation. Um, every generation gets labeled as, you know, that there's something wrong with them, that they're lazy, they're entitled. And unfortunately, you guys are going to do it to the generation behind you. You'll see it happen. All right. But um, no, they're not lazy. Yeah. Not at all. Um, could you just say like one thing positive about Generation Y? Oh, I can say lots of things positive about Generation Y. I have a lot of hope in Generation Y. You know, you, generation Y, the millennial generation, is the largest generation. Right? The baby boomers were it, now it's Generation Y, now it's the millennials. And the millennials are going to dictate the way this country goes. It's going to dictate future policy. Um, and working with millennials every day I am complete, have complete confidence that this generation is going to put us on the right path. Um, they're passionate, hardworking, um, caring. Um, yeah, I think we're in a good spot. I really do. All right. Um, last question: Would you hire somebody from Generation Y, knowing these stereotypes? Absolutely, because I know the stereotypes aren't true. Uh, you know that. The, the issue with the Millennials and the Generation Y is that they are a product of structural barriers that were set out. They didn't have a choice. Uh, we had the economic recession, which led to many baby boomers losing good chunks of their retirement. The baby boomers are not leaving the workforce like we would have anticipated in previous generations. Therefore, if the Millennials are not getting into the job market, or if they are, getting into the job market, they're being seriously underemployed, meaning that they're, they've become a very highly educated generation, a highly educated group that has hit structural barriers that were beyond anything that they could have controlled for. And it's making them uh, unable to participate in the economy like past generations have. This isn't their fault. You know, the home ownership rates of, of, of the millennials is going to be decreased. Um, just as a prime example, they're starting families later in life. Uh, there's a lot of issues that are going into this, and I tie it largely back to economic, but it's structural in nature. It has nothing to do with millennials being you know, so-called entitled or, or, or lazy. Um, it has to do with, with, with barriers that have been built into the fabric of our society that is completely beyond their control. There's nothing they can do about it. Thank you for your time. You bet. It was great interviewing you. Yeah, you have a good day. Yeah, you too. Information from, from Princeton University says that Generation Y is not simply working, looking for their employers to show that they care. Generation Y is not entitled to anything. The key for employers is approaching younger workers differently, providing constructive criticism that reflects confidence in them. The rate of volunteerism has increased significantly and has doubled in the 16 to 19 and 20 to 24 demographics. According to a Monster Track survey found on uschamberfoundation.org, 74% of graduating college seniors felt having a relevant work experience was more important part of a job. Having multiple job experiences is not disloyal to the employers. Generation Y makes workforce leaders face the fact that loyalty is not given. It has to be earned. After all the information,